Hey y'all, uh, out here on the sand with my pup and got a few things that are flowering because it's midsummer. Uh, one of the plants that flowers this time of year is going to be this pretty white one right behind us. Uh, you can see it has leaves that almost look like tulips. They grow on a stalk and then delicate white flower and seed pods. This is called duck potato. Uh, and it actually has a tuber root, much like a potato, grows really deep down. And Native Americans used to use it uh, as a starch, uh, one of the ways that they could get through hard winter months. All right, just a little bit further away from the duck potato is this beautiful pink flower. Uh, and this is called mallow. Uh, we've got a few different kinds of mallow that bloom around here. This, I think, is the prettiest one. Um, and mallow has a ton of uses, um, but... One of the things that it's usually harvested for, if they're going to harvest it, is going to be the root. Uh, and the root can be used in a lot of teas. If you see herbal teas, you might see mallow root. Uh, but if you see a mallow in the marsh, does that make it a marshmallow? Yeah, it does. That's where the original marshmallows came from. They would take the root of the mallow plant and they would boil it. It has this very kind of syrupy, gummy, mucilaginous texture. Uh, you mix that with a few ingredients and that's where they came up with the first confections. Continuing our tour of the sound and the marsh and things that we can harvest or forage for. Uh, this tree, right there, we got a lot of them around here, but this tree is a bay tree. Uh, a lot of people call them swamp bays. Um, but as you can see, the leaf definitely looks like a bay leaf. And yeah, when you pop them off and crush them up, you can't smell it, but I can. Definitely smells like bay. So I don't have to go to the grocery store. Just pop out here, grab some leaves, see them all around Corolla.